over one in five people will experience significant, meaning clinically diagnosable mental illness in their lifetime. That's a large percent. And the other four to five people will know somebody. But for about 80% of people who experience mental illness, it starts in childhood or youth. It starts before they're adults. And we have not done a good enough job of recognizing that. For today's top topic is anxiety disorders. Um, and anxiety disorders are probably the least understood and least recognized, even though they are the most commonly occurring in children, adolescents, and adults. Uh, one of the reasons why they're least understood and least recognized is because we all have anxiety. But when we're talking about anxiety disorders, it's a level of stress or worry that interferes with your ability to live your life. What we're doing is trying to spread the word, have um, increased awareness about not only anxiety, but all mental health problems, because we know for, to a person that every single mental health problem is better treated earlier on before it grows into a full-blown problem. Uh, um, number one treatment approach by Canadian Mental Health Association and Canadian uh, Medical Association is to work with children to give them skills. So we're not talking about medication here. We're talking about skill management, skill delivery. Schools are a fantastic place to start. And there's um, been a lot of work in the schools trying to teach teachers how to then teach the same skills to children in their classroom. Also joining me after my talk will be three college, university students, college students, who have actually lived with anxiety disorders. Um, they're going to be talking about their experience of having an anxiety disorder as a youngster and how that has affected their life. I think this evening is trying to get people to start talking about it. One in five people are diagnosed with a mental illness. We all have mental health as, and it should be looked at as equally as our physical health. So I think the aim here is to let people's stories come out and people share their experiences so people realize it is a real thing and real people do go through it. What I'm hoping for and what we're all hoping for is that children, um, more children with problems become ambassadors for mental health advocates. They're more empathetic. They stand up for each other. They speak out for each other and themselves.